Does this talk trajectory of ginkgo bioworks indicate a downward spiral? This is relating to the fact that even, even since the reverse stock split, there's been around a 3% decrease or a $3 decrease in the price, which is obviously a pretty sizable impact to the overall price after the reverse stock split, given that the stock was around like 9.10 or 9.30, something like that, after the reverse stock split. And it really goes to show about whether there is any potential for Ginkgo Bioworks or whether investors or even other type of people who are looking to potentially invest in Ginkgo Bioworks and exercise confidence in the founding platform, whether it's on a downward spiral. And I think unfortunately that a lot of biotech companies are on a slow downward spiral or even on a slow type of death as even the CEO and the executive of my company had mentioned it. It's because a lot of them, they may have to make cuts like they may start with a mass layoff and they may look to consolidate real estate or get rid of real estate and then they will have to potentially maybe do even more dramatic changes down the line to continue maintaining uh, or to continue maintaining their cash supply and to in the process minimize their cash burn as much as possible and it really goes to show about what made biotech companies change so much in terms of their outlook for their business as well as the longevity because there's so many biotech companies that always try to advertise that they're hiring and that they have very robust workflows that can be used to look at uh, impact and presence of genetic material in diseases that haven't been explored previously and unfortunately despite a lot of that potential it does even it does seem to me that a lot of it has very unfortunately been oversold because you can even look at the company that I used to work at. It was in the ag biological space and they had really decided to change and implement a very significant, you know, restructuring and, uh, to their operations in which they were looking to get rid of around 35 to 40 percent of the people in the first round. And then despite that fact, they still had to continue pursuing layoffs even after that. And it really goes to show that once a company gets into that cycle, of just laying off people in the masses or laying off many people at a time, they don't. They never seem to really value human capital like a lot ever again, unfortunately. And it's really devastating and disappointing for people who actually have to be in that type of position like myself or even other people at the company to try to negotiate and to try to navigate the current job market because there are just so many jobs that are either not being you know, monitored consistently or their jobs that are being posted, you know, then and again, like even I've talked about a lot of ghost jobs in my channel in which I'd applied for it. And despite the fact that I had an interview or even in a few cases in person interviews because the jobs were around Los Angeles, around where I'm from in California, nothing and nothing ever ended up materializing for those jobs. And for sure, I think that it's still a great thing to still have an interview in the first place because it can be a great talking point for your resume and it can give you things to talk about with the person and you know with the with the hiring manager or the CEO or the executive of the company in person. But obviously it's a far cry from actually the executive of whatever company you're interviewing at giving you, you know, the opportunity to be able to work and actually hiring you for a job because it can just like be really frustrating about how you drive out somewhere to go for an interview and then nothing ends up materializing for it. But then the matter of the fact that you come to realize is that a lot of the jobs that they're hiring or they say they're hiring, they don't actually end up hiring or they hire people with very narrow uh, qualifications that still may not be representative of everyone who can do a very good job in Excel within uh, the job and the descriptions and the, you know, the duties and the responsibilities that it has. So it just really goes to show about What's the point of trying to always look at a company just purely based on its stock price? Because we can see in the case of Ginkgo Bioworks, the price of the stock after the reverse stock split, it's not really indicative at all of what the company can actually do. Because unfortunately, it just seems like the company can't really do much. And the reverse stock split was just a way for them to buy themselves more time so that probably they can just unfortunately continue just to exercise stock options while the company's uh, revenue will continue to struggle.